Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Tommy West here, back with another episode of my NBA 2K21 My Team Budget Series League Minimum. This is episode number 22 of League Minimum, the double deuce. So, welcome, everyone. And today on the show, I finally did it, guys. I, I sat down this weekend after I finished all the after I finished limited after I finished all the win the weekend shit uh, I just sat down and played some triple threat online and we finally got him boys we finally got the lawyer Jack Marin off uh, TTO boards and so I'm gonna share with you uh, my method for winning triple threat online games and uh, also uh, the method that we use to get Jack Marin actually this is going to be a combination of a few different things this is going to be a combination of my triple threat uh, offline method for winning games with the give and go play this is going to be a combination of my triple threat offline method for getting good matchups this is going to be a combination of the ball drop the infinite ball drop method uh, first popularized by Denver struck so a lot of things going into this a lot of little tips I'm going to give you guys so that you can see a screen just like this one and bring home the lawyer Jack Marin onto your team ASAF MFP uh, Jack Marin. We're going to take a look at this card right here. 93, 99, 6, 7, 200 pounds from Duke. He's a Dukey. He's got a 90 driving layup, a 90 close, a 95 mid, a 93 3, a 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 steel, 98 perimeter D. Uh, rebounding in the 70s, 90 speed, 90 speed with ball, 90 acceleration, 85 vertical, 95 stamina, 93 lateral quickness. We'll take a look at the defensive tendencies. 85 pass interception, 85 on ball steal, only a 15 shot contest, but a 90 block shot rating. 18 Hall of Fames, difficult shot, acrobat, relentless finisher, heart crusher, intimidator, off ball pest. Fancy footwork, slithery finisher, downhill, handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable, flexible release. He got 27 goals. He comes with gold dimer, pickpocket, clamps, interceptor, rebound chaser, tireless defender, bailout, tight handles, range extender, and floor general. So a uh, super duper player. We're going to check out his jumper. Uh, that's not him. That's the dream. Dream for three. We knock that down as we do. Let's get Jack Marin in here and check out his jumper. He's got hot zones everywhere except uh, the top of the key. And, uh, oh, that jumper's okay. That's an okay jumper. I don't mind that one too much. Uh, we green right here. Yeah, that's not a bad jumper at all. Not bad at all. And, yeah, we're going to green a lot of shots with this guy. And he does have gold range, as I said. He's got a great three-point rating. So you're going to be able to uh, bomb away from beyond the arc with the lawyer, Jack Marin. Number 24. I think uh, I think he had like a, a Bullets jersey on. So I guess he played for Washington. I don't know. I don't know anything about Oh, my God. I know he can get up. Jack Marin can get up. Jack Marin with the Billy Hoyle hops. And yeah, this guy, he's going to be alright. He is going to be just fine, just fine. So, uh, one more again. Yeah! And we got him from TTO, so let's try him out in TTO. We're going to run with uh, Marin and Dishinger and our Heat Check Giannis. Heat check Giannis, and we're going to come up against uh, Opal Antoine, Aaron Aflalo, and Brian Russell. So, uh, let's see. Marin getting to the rack easily, and uh, 
flying high to put that one down. And Antoine Jameson, he's dancing with the ball, and he gets he gets the blow by Giannis bit on the pump fake. So Antoine got the dunk right there. And you know what? That's what I need to do, man. I need to finish up. That's that's the next thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna finish up heat check domination and get Antoine Jameson. Have not uh. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm halfway through that, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't played a whole lot, I played a little bit, not a whole lot, Dishinger knocks down the three right there, we see the dentist getting involved, uh, we saw a three from Giannis, and there's a three from Antoine, man, yeah, Antoine hitting deep fades, so, we do need to get on that, and, uh, a little FYI, I am actually on vacation this week, so uh, you'll be seeing a, a few more uploads than usual, and we'll be getting a lot of shit done in my team this week. Uh, it's a staycation, it's not a vacation. I'm just going to be at home uh, pressing buttons and uh, watching watching Netflix. Marin again to the rack, attacking that motherfucker. He's like a he's like a goddamn bear attacking the rim. Uh, I don't know how bears attack rims, but I know that bears attack. It's a bear attack. And Giannis with the attack right there. Getting that layup to go. We are up by six. Dishing her with the board. Ahead to Jack Marin. Jack Marin with a step back. Ah, that one doesn't fall for us. So we're going the other way. And Jameson again making it rain on our heads, man. Need an umbrella. Ella. Ella. Giannis. Oh my god. Can you believe that horse shit right there? Jesus Christ. And psh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop everything. We're gonna get Antoine Jameson. Because apparently he's just not to be trifled with. Jack Marin knocks down that three for us though. And we are one bucket away. The dentist going. Oh, come on, man. Getting robbed out here. And look at Antoine Jameson with that range. Giannis for three. Can he do it? No, we cannot. Oh, come on, guys. Knock down a fucking shot. Oh, how you like that? Okay. That's a little that's a little retribution for that block earlier. And there we go. Dishing her under the basket. Uh, we finally get that shot to fall. Jack Marin had nine points and three assists for us. Only one of three from beyond the arc. But that's okay. The Dennis has seven, five, and two, and Giannis had five and two. So good game there. Okay. Now let's get down to uh, brass tacks. Let's talk about TTO and what I did to uh, to get the the lawyer. Okay, so there's basically three things that help me get the lawyer. Three tips that I would give to you. Uh, one is about the type of team that you should run. Uh, the second is about how you should play. And that really is just kind of rehashing what I talked about in the uh, in the dentist video. And then the third thing is about the ball drop glitch. And a lot of people have made videos about the ball drop glitch, how to do it, what you need to do. So I'm not going to go super in depth on it, but we will touch on it because I did use that to get Jack Marin. Uh, I did use the glitch as soon as I saw Marin on the boards. So, first thing we need to talk about is the type of team that uh, you should run. Now, this work works great for me. It's worked for a while. I've been doing this for a while. And I've seen other people comment on YouTube videos that this works for them also. So, uh, it's not just me. This is the type of team that you want to run. A uh, lower overall team. Not super fucking low. But a team like this, two sapphires and an emerald, this team works perfect for me. Jordan Clarkson I can shoot with, Matt Barnes I can shoot with, and Emerald Shaq is going to grab boards and defend in the paint for you. Now, if you're running two sapphires, 
you can actually uh, run a Ruby if you want so we could take Shaq out <coughs> we could take out Shaquille O'Neal and put in a Ruby like uh, Ursan Ilyasova uh, who's also going to get you boards also going to play a little bit of defense in the lane and Ursan can uh, knock down shots but uh, you see two sapphires and a ruby you can, you can get away with two sapphires and an amethyst but uh, that's getting kind of risky there I wouldn't go over two sapphires and a ruby but if you don't have Jordan Clarkson uh, let's see what other guys could you use in place of him uh, Again, you want somebody to who's this is gonna be your ball handler. So uh, let's say like a Cole Anthony would be good. He's got gold range, good three-point shot, so he'd be good to use. Um, if you don't have Cole Anthony, um, maybe Bradley Beal would be all right. He can handle the ball a little bit. He can shoot. Um, Trey Young maybe. If you if you're good with his release, you could run with Trey Young. Um, let's see who else do we have? Uh, oh, Avery Johnson. I don't think he's got a good three, but this Allen Iverson would be good. Uh, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf would be all right. He's got a good three pointer. Uh, Pat Bev is okay to run. Uh, guys like Dennis Smith Jr., George Hill, probably all right. Maybe this Dame Lillard. Uh, but yeah, you want a ball handler who can shoot threes. That's what you're looking for in this one spot. And again, uh, my go-to guy is Jordan Clarkson. Now, second position, second sapphire. I got Matt Barnes because I can knock down open shots with his jumper, and he's a good defender. So if you don't have Matt Barnes, that's what you're looking for. Like a Chris Middleton, maybe. Uh, I don't know this. Patrick Williams might be all right. Uh, Jimmy Butler, I don't think he has a good enough three. No, he's got nothing for three-point shooting, so you wouldn't use him. Uh, this Patrick Williams has a 75 three-point shot, so he'd be okay. Um, maybe R.J. Hampton. Maybe. I remember I like his jumper, so I don't know. A Donovan Mitchell would be good. Donovan Mitchell would be really good in this position. Um, anybody else that looks great? Uh, maybe Bonzi. Maybe. Uh, what's his three pointer? 78 three pointer. He's got some of the badges that you want. Uh, Kendall Gill might actually be good. Uh, okay, he's got gold catch and shoot. Uh, he's got clamps. He's actually got bronze range extender. I didn't, didn't even know. So yeah, Kendall Gill would probably be all right to run as a Matt Barnes uh, replacement. Again, just a guy who can shoot, who you can knock down shots with, and who can play defense for you. So maybe that Deshaun Stevenson. Duncan Robinson's a great three-point shooter. Um, I don't know how much defense he's going to give you, but his, uh, his great shooting might make him a guy to look at. Uh, this Brian Russell is probably good. Trevor Rees is probably good. Oh, that T-Mac. Uh, I'd run with T-Mac. Uh, maybe run with Kobe. Anyway, uh, you get you get the idea. Sapphires you can knock down shots with, and uh, you want to, You need a big man. And again, you don't want to go over a Ruby. I love to run with Shaq because again. Shaq gives you everything you need. Uh, a good rebounder. That's you need a rebounder, and you need shooters. Basically, it for your rebounder slash uh, paint protector. Jared Jeffries wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Jeff Green's a little bit undersized, but he can get you some boards as well as knock down some shots for you. Um, I don't even know who the hell else as far as emeralds go would work for that but uh, like I said if you want to go with a ruby there's plenty plenty of guys in here who can uh, give you that rebounding and 
if you have Ursan, uh, like he's going to give you that shooting as well, which you don't necessarily need from your big man, but uh, doesn't hurt, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know that the 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 uh, big man's not as important as your two sapphires. Uh, you have to use uh, two sapphires that you can knock down shots with. That's the most important thing is that, well not even that you can knock down shots but that you're able to score with. So keep that in mind. That's the most important thing, being able to score with your two uh, sapphires. And you're going to see why in just a minute. When you run a low, low overall team like this, there is a more than good chance you're going to match up with somebody like this. Humane result 7. You know what? That's not a real human being. That's not, there's nobody running around with that name, Humane Result 7. This is a bot. Now, I don't know where these bots come from. I uh, believe it's the uh, the MT Farmers. That's a whole other story. Uh, but yes, we are matched up with a bot. And when I run two sapphires and an emerald, I almost always wind up matched up with a bot. Not, not almost always. Again, like 75% of the time, you'll match up with a bot. And then once you're matched up with a bot, uh, you want to run the give and go play. And you'll be able to get easy buckets if you can shoot with your, uh, with your guys. And if you can't shoot with your guys, you run the give and go play. And uh, it's kind of like a five out for a uh, triple threat. So you can just uh, burn your defender who's going to be... Uh, a uh, silver or gold card and uh, you can get right to the rim now these are not like the bots of, of years past these bots actually play the game they're not gonna do something stupid like chuck up half-court shots all the time and get a bunch of violations and shit they actually play the game but there's only one way that they play the game and that's their highest rated card in this case it's uh, Amethyst Aaron Aflalo uh, they're gonna shoot three-pointers with him and that's all they're gonna do all game long so knowing that uh, you get your defender on uh, put your defender on Aaron Aflalo and get in front of getting his passing lane and watch uh, watch the ball handler as soon as they make that pass you hit the steal button and you come up with a steal just like that and we miss that shot there but uh, yeah, that's all you got to do. If you don't get the steal, then you, uh, you like, immediately jump. Because as soon as Aaron Aflalo gets that, uh, ca catches that pass, he's going to shoot a jump shot every single time. Again, we miss, we don't get the steal, but we contest a shot, and they're not going to make a contested shot. They will hit the open shot, though. They'll absolutely drain open three-pointers all game long. So you got to contest it. But uh, as long as you do that, like I said, play the passing lane, contest shots. Uh, you're going to keep them to single-digit scoring, and you can score every time down the court. So watch, yeah. Telegraph that pass, we pick it off, get to the other end, easy layup. I get the pass that time. He takes the jumper. We get the board. And, yeah, well, you don't have to run the give and go a whole lot because a lot of this is going to be transition buckets. See? He'll he'll knock down the, the uh, three-point shot if you give him the space. So, contest his shots. And uh, if you find yourself in the half court, just run the give and go. And... Uh, should be easy, easy, easy W's for you all day long. Contest that shot. He shoots the air ball. Get it to the other end. Open under the basket. Nice, easy layup. Easy win. 21 to 8. That was a bot. And this
this board is not interesting to us at all so we're just gonna, gonna forget about this see this guy this is a bot that name that's a bot name and look at the team it's two silvers and an amethyst this is the team I see most amethyst clay Thompson and two silver cards see this team this is a bot look at that name that's not a name Ruby Nick Anderson two silver players that's a bot so uh, yeah I like to run Ronnie Brewer as well Jordan Clarkson Ronnie Brewer and Shaq but sometimes you will run up against a real person this is not a bot <laughs> this is an actual fucking person and we are severely outgunned here we got an opal we got a pink diamond and a diamond but you know what we're not that worried about it because I can shoot the lights out with Ronnie Brewer I can shoot the lights out with Jordan Clarkson and Shaq's going to do what he needs to do in the middle grabbing boards like that one right there call the give and go play wide open can't hit that shot damn we needed that but we're going the other way so like I said it's important to use guys that you can play with a little bit don't just uh, don't just throw anybody up there cause uh, like one out of four one out of three times you will get matched up with an actual person and out of that one out of, out of that 25% of the time you get matched up against an actual person I'd say I'd say like a third of the time you get completely overmatched you get matched up with somebody stupid like this but again look at us we are doing just fine with sapphire ruby emerald doing just fine Ronnie Brewer can't hit that shot going the other way and Antoine Jameson again man Antoine Jameson just keeps showing up he's the bane of my existence right now but he's not playing no defense on Ronnie Brewer so we're knocking that down and come on guy alright here we go D up D up gotta shut Antoine down oh Antoine killing me Jordan Clarkson kick out to Ronnie Brewer Ronnie Brewer green that Brewer's got 12 of our 15 points and Jameson again this is the Antoine Jameson video apparently Oh, oh, we got that to fall. That was that. Sh that shot should not have gone in, but we'll take it. Ronnie Brewer's got his takeover. Antoine again. My God, Antoine Jameson. Okay, so call the give and go, but we don't need it right now. Oh, hit the corner. Buckets. Look at that look at that right there I was talking to a uh, to a commenter about he's he said he wanted Hakeem Olajuwon the Opal Hakeem I said man you know what I, Opal Hakeem is nice but I have so much more fun playing with these lower tier cards like an Emerald Shack when I can bust up a Galaxy Opal Antoine Jameson with an Emerald Shack and a, a Diamond who is a Brooke Lopez and a pink diamond Isaiah Thomas with Ruby Ronnie Brewer and Sapphire Jordan Clarkson man that's just so much more fun shout out to my boy Mojay2k by the way uh, yeah I, the reason I make a budget uh, video is called budget series is because I enjoy using uh, budget players man pack opening videos get a lot of views but uh I have a lot more fun playing with the lower tier cards than I do the uh, Opals and the OP cards. And uh, let me talk real quickly. I just want to point this out. Uh, the reason that this lineup thing works is because there are bots playing the game. And the bots run uh, the lowest overall kind of lineup that they can. And lower than anyone would normally use and that's why 
they get matched up against each other and one of the one of the bot teams will eventually win and they'll both get a little bit of MT for playing the game so if you jump in with a lower overall lineup you're gonna match up against them now if a thousand people watch this video and y'all go out and try it then yeah your odds are gonna be higher of matching up against somebody else who's trying to do this versus matching up with a bot so pick the time that you play carefully like if you play early in the morning like 6 or 7 or 8 a.m. you got a better chance of not matching up with an actual person and not having a sweaty ass game where you might be again completely outmatched or uh, what have you so that's the lineup thing now the ball drop glitch thing like I said there's a lot of videos on YouTube how to do it. Just type in uh, Triple Threat Online, NBA 2K, Triple Threat Online, Ball Drop Glitch, and you'll get a deep, detailed video on how to do this thing. But basically what you want to do is when you get to a board where you see Jack Marin, or this works with anything, when you get to a board where you see a prize that you want, don't drop the ball okay let the ball go back and forth at the top of the screen don't press the button don't do nothing what you want to do is close your app <clears throat> hit your PlayStation button or I guess maybe there's an Xbox button hit that button close the app cut the game right the fuck off when you reload the game that board will be saved in your redeem prize uh, spot you go all the way to extras it'll be down at the bottom redeem prize but don't redeem the prize yet you want to play another game of TTO and whether you win or whether you lose you'll get another ball drop and again when you get to the screen and the ball is going back and forth up at the top don't drop that motherfucker close the app again <clears throat> and what it does is it stacks up your the balls that you have to drop it stacks up and it's all saved on that original board where you saw Jack Marin or you saw Diamond Consumables or you saw whatever prize it was that you fucking wanted to get and then you'll have like twice as many ball drops to get you know to get the prize that you want so basically how that works uh, again if you need more info a lot of people made videos about it I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time look it up it's real easy to do I wasn't sure about it but I tried it and it worked just fine right now Jack Marin is in that top tier with the last three wins that you'll get the last three opportunities to get ball drops um, apparently you can only do this in those three uh, three slots so like if you see Jack Marin on your what eighth win and then close app restart play your ninth win close that restart play your tenth win close that restart apparently that works apparently it doesn't work you can't go from that top all the way back down to the bottom and start all over again I just did it after one win I did one win and closed that restarted got another win Close that restarted and then went to extras and redeemed prize so I had eight ball drops but apparently you can't go like forever keep doing it forever so, that is that is pretty much it that's uh, that's all I got for you guys today uh, thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe I love you guys and I will see you next time peace